Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Coffee here, and today we're back with the Diamond Art Club unboxing. Yes! Now, you guys already know, my dad is a huge Peanuts fan, so I had to unbox this, okay? Now, if you missed it the first time, Diamond Art Club just recently came out with some pre-framed diamond paintings. Now, there was a couple of questions about those diamond paintings. I tried to answer them the best that I could. So I'm going to answer them again in this video in case there was somebody who did not see that post that I made in the VIP group or if you just happen to miss it. This kit is currently unavailable. They will be coming out with some more pre-framed diamond paintings later on down the road. Um, but there was a little bit of an issue with this one. So... Um, they did discount these. I think they were like 25% off or something like that. So I had to grab it. So let's go ahead and crack into it without further ado. This one is Spaced Out, which is Charlie Brown Peanuts. Love peanuts. It was the thing I grew up on, of course, because again, if you didn't know, my dad loves peanuts. So I, of course, had to get this kit. Again, it is pre-framed. Now, there was an issue because it does say LED light on it. So you're going to see the LED light on it, but these are just considered pre-framed because there was a little bit of inconsistency with the lighting. So they sold them as pre-framed and discounted them. Now you got a 50-50 shot if your kit was going to come with the lighting working perfectly fine or being a little messed up, but that's okay. So... This is what your canvas looks like. Now, this canvas is a lot of confetti <laughs> and dark colors, which are two things I don't typically drive with, but it's, it's Charlie Brown and it's my dad, so you gotta do what you gotta do. So, first question, is it hard to diamond paint on these? Now, there are some spots on the canvas that are not as stable as the rest of them, so they have a little bit of give to them. That is the hardest part about working on this canvas. If you can work on a converted cross stitch, if you can work on a mystery kit, this should be no problem for you with just that little bit of, and like I said, it's literally just, it pushes in a little bit because it's pre-framed. So the part that isn't on that hard part, is going to give you a little bit of give. Other than that, it's not hard to work on. Two, can you use a light pad? No, you cannot. There is nowhere to put a light pad as the back of it is blacked out because of the frame. So you cannot use a light pad. Um, what was one of the other questions I got? Three, your legend. Now, I would honestly say, before you take this off, take a picture of it so that you have it as a legend because after you take those stickers off and put it on your storage container, you have no way of knowing without looking for the number, what is what. So I would say, I would suggest to you to take a picture of your legend which is going to have 28 colors. And I'm going to pause it right there in case anybody else got this kit and they did not think to take a picture of it. Go ahead and take a picture of it now. And that way you have a walking legend for your diamond painting. Because one of the mistakes I made was that I went ahead and took all the stickers off and labeled all my baggies and then went, crap, there's no legend on the sides. <laughs> so make sure you take a picture of that legend so you have a walking legend to go with you. Now, I do want to see if this works. There you go. So that shows you that this particular canvas does work. Now, there are a couple of lighter spots in the lighting. Now, that's because I'm pressing on it and there is lights behind there. Is it a string of lights? I don't know what's behind there. I didn't bother to pull the canvas up to look. So whether it's a string of lights or whatever, you do have lighting back there. Now, as you can tell, some of the lights are dull and some of them are not. That is the inconsistency that they were talking about and why they didn't want to sell these as pre the LEDs and they wanted to focus on the fact that they're pre-framed. So let's get the lights back on. And so that is what it looks like lit up if you choose to use the LED lights. Do you have to use them? No. What kind of batteries does it take? Four triple A's. That's double, 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 A. There's, that's three of them. That's, that's, that's three A's, so triple A. Anyways, can you take the canvas off the pre-frame? Yes, I'm not sure why you would want to do that, seeing as how it's already pre-framed for you, and then you'll just wonder after you're done how you're going to frame it. Leave it on the frame, do yourself a favor. It's a pain in the butt to get it back on there and have it be this taut as it is on here. Um, but the canvas itself is no different than a regular canvas, so your drill field is nice and clear. And of course, there's your stickers that come with it. It does have 28 colors. It does come with a toolkit 
and the little sticker for your journal if you keep a diamond painting journal. And then your baggies, okay? And then your little paper that tells you all that you don't care about that. So, so 28 colors. And let's take a look at what those colors are, shall we? But yes, a lot of people had questions about this kit when it first came out. And I had to do a bunch of edits to my video, so I do apologize. But if you've never seen my face before, you got to see that. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go. 803 coming in with double trouble. Triple threat coming in for 803. You're getting three bags of that. This is a square if you haven't told, by the way. 310 coming in with double trouble there. 3336 coming in with one, two, three, four bags. So we have four bags of 336. 939 coming in with two bags, double trouble there. 550, 823 coming in with double trouble there. 312, 400, 3826, and eh, AB alert. Yes, our first AB of this particular kit. And if you are new to diamond painting or diamond art club in general, and you don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's the iridescent coating that they put on the drill to make it sparkle just a little bit brighter. And then when you lay this down on the canvas next to your regular drills, it'll pick up the light from those regular drills and make them sparkle brighter as well. Because if one shines, we all shine, you heard. So 141 is our first AB in this kit. And we're gonna keep going to see if we can find any more ABs. So 334 and 327, that's our first string of drills. And then our next string of drills, 3607, 3755, 322, 451, 3852, 718, 3608, Z775. Now, when you see the letter Z, that stands for Diamond Art Club's Fairy Dust Drills. No, that's a bad spin. Fairy dust drills. What are fairy dust drills? Fairy dust drills are the drills that if you look ever so closely to the top of them, you're going to see a little bit of glimmer and gloss and shine. That is because there's glitter on the top of them. So that glitter, it works like an AB, but a more subtle AB. Also, it does not work like an AB where it takes the, it, sometimes the wax can be taken out of your pen by the ABs. That does not happen with working with fairy dust drills. The fairy dust drills do not take Anything out of your pen, it just leaves a beautiful sparkle on the drill itself. So you don't have to worry about that. So if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like ABs, try the Fairy Dust Drills from Diamond Art Club or whatever other drills that everybody else has. Because I know, I think everybody at this point has some kind of Fairy Dust Drill like drills in their like spectrum of drills. So Z775, and you will always tell the Fairy Dust Drills from the fact that it starts with the letter Z as in zebra. Spin. <laughs> if you know, you know. So that is our first fairy dust drill of this kit. It is Z775, 931, 318, 38, 14, 415, one, eh, eh, AB alert, yes, 124, coming in with a second AB of this kit. 124 is the second AB of this kit. And if you are someone who loves ABs, you're going to love this because there's only a couple of them, which means that they go somewhere around those pink areas on this canvas. We're going to find out where they go here in a few minutes. Let's just keep going. 452, eh, eh, AB alert. Yes, 101 coming in with our third AB of this kit. So 124, what was it? 124, 101, and 120, or 141, I believe, are the, the three ABs we have in this kit so far. Is it three? One, two, three. Yep, it's three. And then our last color is 726. Okay, so let's do a little movie magic to get these back in the bag real quick. All right, so we got those drills back in the bag. We're going to slide those off to the side along with the legend to figure out where our ABs go. So AB 101, 124, and 141 coming in for this kit. And if you look at a legend or on your schematic here, uh, which gives you all your details, this is a 42.8 by 42.8. It is a square with ABs and fairy dust drills. So your fairy dust drill is going to be located at the very bottom of your kit, and it's going to be indicated by the letter Z as in zebra. And then for number 28 is your fairy dust, and it's going to be depicted on your kit as the letter E as in Edward. And then at the top here, one through three are going to be your ABs. DAC usually puts their ABs at the top of their kit, and they're always going to be numbers less than 150. So 149 and below are going to be your ABs. So on our kit here, we can see that number one is going to be 101, which is an AB. Number two is going to be number two on the kit, which is also going to be an AB. And then number three is a dot, which is going to be 141, which is also an AB. So one, two, dot, and then the letter E. So you're going to look around your canvas right there of first, right there on Charlie Brown's head. You're going to see all the outline is AB. You're seeing some number twos and a dot there, 
we're seeing some letter E's there. Also some letter E's there in that sparkle. And if we go down here, number two right there on that starburst. We also have some letter E and that black dot on that starburst there. And you're also seeing some of those random dots all throughout the sky of this particular kit. This is a lot of confetti. So if you are someone who are able to get this one, you have your work cut out for you, but it's gonna be absolutely stunning when it is done. This is a kit that I'm thriving to get done in the new year. Um, I'm trying to get better at making time to do a little bit more than what I've been doing lately. So I'm gonna try to get this done in the new year, but that is that for this video, you guys. The DAC pre-framed diamond paintings. What did you think of the pre-framed diamond paintings? Let me know down in the comment section below. Just please be respectful. We don't need nasty comments. If you didn't like it, just say it wasn't for me. That's fine. You don't got to be nasty about it. I know there were a lot of folks that were bummed out that they didn't get it. Don't worry. They will be available again here in the future. Just for right now, they need to work on fixing the lights to a lot of the kits. So that's what they're focusing on, I guess. Either way, I'm out of here, folks. Thank you, Sal so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about this kit, please leave them down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what did you think of the pre-framed kit? Did you like the idea or did you think it was it just wasn't for you? That's okay if it wasn't. It's not for everyone, but leave it down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear back from you. So until next time, you guys stay safe out here in these crafty streets and always remember to be kind to others because you never know what somebody else is, somebody else is going through. Be courteous because it's the right thing to do and always stay cool. And whether I see you on YouTube or I see you on Twitch, either way, I'll see you when I see you. 